I think one of the advantages of living in Sheboygan County is that the lifestyle and the pace is different than a lot of areas that I've visited in my travels. It's a wonderful place for family. We are sitting right on a beautiful lake. We get out of the harbor in just a couple of minutes with a sailboat and the competition offshore is just wonderful. There is within each of us an ancient fire, a passion as old as humankind, a fundamental desire to live our lives to the fullest, to embrace as much of what this world has to offer as we possibly can, to reach beyond the limitations of our surroundings towards something more, to find that uncharted place where we can live fuller, richer, more complete. Is there such a place out there, somewhere? A place where those who dare to reach higher can achieve more. A beacon upon which visionaries can focus their sights. A land in which to plant their flag. Where the horizons are as expansive as the possibilities. An ambition finds fertile ground to expand and flourish and entrepreneurial spirits can realize dreams. A place that nourishes the soul, refreshes the body, and inspires the mind. Where one can raise a family, grow a business, spend a lifetime. Where innovative thinking and traditional values thrive side by side. A place that holds the promise of personal fulfillment and professional opportunity alike the promise of a strong sense of community, a celebration of individuality, and an unparalleled sense of belonging. The promise to be more, to live more, to simply do more. I was born and raised in Hamburg, Germany. Hamburg is the second largest city in Germany with a little bit over two million citizens. Uh, you can imagine when I talked to uh, the gentleman in Hamburg that I knew if I would like to go to the United States. Uh, what you think of is New York and Florida and California. And he said, no, we have a great place, great company in Sheboygan. And I had to admit, I thought it was somewhere in India or something. I actually was born and raised in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and then lived in Boulder for 11 years. I, I honestly said to my husband when we first got together, I won't be moving to Wisconsin. And then I started spending more time here and I absolutely love it. And to be honest, I, I can't imagine raising my family and doing the businesses, running the businesses that I'm running in Colorado. The way I got into this business, the best way to describe it is a little bit by accident and had come to Sheboygan to kind of see if there might be a life here for us after a couple of years in Chicago and just loved, I needed to be here. I can't explain that, but it's a place I knew I wanted to be and would be. Today, this very morning, as the sun ascended over the fourth largest body of fresh water on Earth, it was greeted by a land as old as time, a geography as breathtaking and diverse as any other. This land rises up out of the waters of Lake Michigan, along more than 26 miles of pristine white sand beaches, rolling dunes, and rising bluffs, fanning out to the north, south, and west in a 513 square mile display of stunning natural beauty, presenting itself to America's heartland and beyond. It's easy to understand why such a scene would have stopped the area's earliest settlers in their tracks. To stake a claim, build a home, and carve out a living. 150 years later, this land continues to be one of the most inspiring geographic areas to be found anywhere. It is the canvas upon which those fortunate enough to live here have painted their lives. Lives inspired by the landscape, to be sure. But more importantly, 
by the people, the values, the cultures, the lifestyle, and amenities that have together woven the tapestry of a community. By the small local businesses and the global corporations alike that have made this place their home. Here, quality of life is unparalleled. The opportunities to excel are boundless. As much as I love Sheboygan County where we are, uh, you know, I travel a lot, I'm gone a lot. I'm, uh, I go to Asia, I go to Europe, I travel all around the States. And, and our headquarters is here in Sheboygan, and it's perfect. I was a company thinking about coming to Sheboygan County. I guess, number one, I would look around and look at the other uh, businesses that are, are located in Sheboygan County. And, and I think what you're going to find is some very, very successful businesses. We're hiring people from Procter & Gamble, we're hiring people from Campbell's, we're hiring people from Quaker, we're, we're hiring people from the best CPG companies in the world uh, to come here. People who want to live here and make their careers here. We're fortunate to be in Sheboygan County to be able to attract some of the best talent in the world to work out of our headquarters. We have over 6,000 jobs in this location and many of those jobs are our key executives who are running this global business. And you have some of the leading manufacturing and leading business companies in, in, in the world headquartered here. Doing, doing an incredible amount of business and, uh, cr and creating the future. We have the fabric of the employee population in the community to resource a hospitality business that is servicing um, the luxury customer. We hear about companies moving down south. Uh, you also hear about companies coming back up north because they found out that cheaper labor isn't always better. We found ourselves uh, on the very fortunate side of a uh, requirement uh, that serves energy development. That's pretty exciting. It'll all be done, obviously, here in Sheboygan until that plant is bulging at the sides. But we also get people wanting to live here, wanting to come because of the energy, the excitement, the, the tranquility of the natural environs, and they say that there's no other place in the world like this. One of the advantages in Sheboygan County is that many of the f companies that are located here are family owned. They've been very supportive of local charities over the years. As a result, we've got wonderful charities that are financially sound. Our local Y, our art center, our theater are all world class. All the women's Olympic teams going for the match racing in 2012 come here purposely to get ready for that Olympic challenge. This is the one place in the United States they can do that. Whether it's the people, the work ethic, the feeling, the lake, I mean you, you can't really put one finger on one thing and say this is it, but it's a total package. It kind of wows people. They don't maybe expect it at first sight and when they first come in, you know, Wisconsin, Midwest, I'm not sure, but wow, are they taken aback when they get in and get a taste of it. We have a very diverse uh, community here from a standpoint of uh, ethnic background, racial background, uh, education background, and you know all of those different groups of people uh, create a fabric here in the county that I think is very, very important to us. The thing is when you come to Sheboygan, Sheboygan County, uh, one of the best ways to describe the advantages are what you're leaving behind. You are leaving behind an environment where your workers have to struggle for an hour or an hour and a half on a commute, arrive frustrated, tired. I think people really see that when they come into the town and really feel like it's almost a step back in the past. Um, in terms of that life has just slowed down a little bit and um, there's more time for the important things in life. community like this, you see uh, the family unit uh, functioning very well. When you have a community that has all of those, as I said, sort of the perfect storm of goodness, green spaces, waterfronts, arts, music, all of the things that we can do uh, as, as people in Sheboygan, you're going to then, I think, be a better thinker, be a better worker, be a better employee. You're going to have a great workforce. Why? Because the people are generally really happy. They have a good life. They love where they are. And I think anytime you're in that setting, I mean, you read about cities, you know, Munich, best city in the world to live in. Well, why? Parks, green spaces, water, arts. Uh, it's, it's, it's a package, the education system here. I mean, there's so many things that are, that are right. 
So if you're someone wanting to do business, I, I don't know where you'd rather do it. We live in an increasingly competitive global marketplace. People say that manufacturing jobs are moving offshore into far off places. Perhaps. But such challenges come with great opportunity. The stage is set for a new kind of economy. A creative economy. The kind of economy driven by invention, innovation, and new ideas for products and services. An economy based on the value of the biggest idea, rather than the price of the cheapest labor. Sheboygan County's quality of life is rocket fuel for this kind of economy. So we say welcome innovators, inventors, and dreamers. Welcome industry. Welcome to a place perfectly balanced between the values and principles of a more civilized time and the entrepreneurial vision of a community poised to seize the opportunities of the future. A place as rich in geographic, cultural, and recreational diversity as it is in business acumen and professional opportunity. All together, all so near, providing access to more of what life has to offer on a more complete level. If, if man is a sentient being, you know, and what comes in through our smell, our taste, our sight, our sound, this, this forms a pretty good package here. And that's something that I've always been a big, a big believer in, is that what you bring in through your senses to a very large degree makes you what you are. Welcome to a place that is as much a lifetime of opportunity as it is the opportunity of a lifetime. Welcome to a place where you can simply do more. Welcome to Sheboygan County.